welcome tonight, Sister Mpo Lefuti. Shall we continue to welcome Sister Mpo? Sister Mpo, you're welcome. Thank you, Pastor. Sample, you are here yes, because Pastor. God has done a great work in your life. Yes, Pastor. Through the ministry of the man of God, Pastor Andrew. Yes, Pastor. Please tell us, what was your condition like before you came into contact with Pastor Andrew? Thank you, Pastor. Wow, it's really indeed a privilege to be given this opportunity to come and bear my testimony. Amen. I would firstly like to, to thank God and Pastor Andrew. Amen. When I came to o o Oasis, I had a boil on my leg, this, this first one. Hmm. Then a friend invited me, Sister Blessing. Uh, it was um, a service held by Pastor Andrew at Oasis Santan Branch. So you were invited to the Santan Branch where Pastor was ministering on that day? Yes, Pastor. How, and so you had the boil which would not heal? It started as a bite, Pastor. It started as a very small thing. Then Mina, I didn't know what is it. Mm. But um, Sister Blessing said to me, let's go to church. Mm. I wasn't even sure that I would stand up when Pastor asked for the ones who are sick. Yes. But my, my friend encouraged me to stand up. Um, I couldn't do anything, Pastor, with his leg. It mm. was the pain, it was very unbearable. I couldn't sleep at night. I was crying every night. So the pain was so unbearable. It was very unbearable, Pastor. I couldn't walk properly. I couldn't do anything. You know, oh. when, when, when you are feeling pain in your body, mm. you, 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 you don't have interest of anything. Oh. That was the same with me. And I was advised by many people to go to Sangomas. Mm. But my heart said, I'll go to the house of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. She said, my heart said, I will go to the house of the Lord. That's yes, an indeed a wisdom at work in you. Yes, Pastor. Then I came to a service held by Pastor Andrew. Yes. A pastor asked for the sick to come forward. As he laid hands on me, I fell down as many times. As so you fell down many times? Many times, Pastor. I was inside of me, I felt too much heat. So you felt too much heat? Yes, and my leg was burning. Wow. Yes. Pastor wow. prayed for me. When I stood up, I danced wow. without, without any fear. Wow. There was no pain in my leg. Wow. Yes, Pastor. So the, all these years, you were, all this time, you were having the pain in your, in your my, legs. Yes, Pastor. I just want the cameraman to show the, what the boils did. And then after pastor prayed for you, you then, said you felt heat yes, all over your body. Yes, pastor. And then you felt your leg was burning. Yes, pastor. And as you get up, there was no pain. There was absolute no pain. There was no pain, pastor. Wow. It was, I couldn't believe it. You know, my mind was on my leg. I, I, wanted, I wanted to check for really, is there any pain or what? Wow. The pain is gone completely wow. or what? But there was no pain. Wow. Tell us, what is it that you could not do when you had this pain? And what is it after pastor prayed, what happened? I couldn't wear my heels, pastor. You couldn't wear your heels? My favorite heels, pastor. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't sleep at night. I was crying every night. I couldn't clean. I couldn't do anything. I, ha I had no peace hmm. within me because I was disturbed. I was really disturbed. Because of the pain in because your leg. Because of the pain in and my leg. And these boils that would not heal. Because of this boil that was coming bigger and bigger. Whoa. Yes, then Pastor. what happened when you got home? When I got home the next day on Monday, some things came out of my leg, Pastor. They came out uh, dark blood clots. There were blood clots that came out of your leg. Yes, Pastor. No one had cut your legs. No one cut my legs. Uh, and um, the dark blood came out and a big a big pasta mm. a very big white hole came out of my leg Ooh. yes pastor 
So after pastor prayed for you, clots came out. Yes, pastor. Without the doctor cutting your legs. Without the doctor cutting and my legs. And a big white thing came out of your leg. Yes, pastor. Wow. Yes, pastor. What would you like to say to somebody out there right now? My brother, my sister, most of us, when we come to the house of the Lord, we come looking for a miracle, not searching for the word. Mm. Start believing. The man of God can do his job by laying his hands upon you. But if you doubt, if you don't have faith, you cannot receive your miracle. Mm. You can only receive your miracle through faith. Wow. As it, if it happened to me, it, hap it can happen to you. Wow. These men, these people, these pastors, they are indeed the true men of God. Wow. Yes, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> what would you like to say to pastor tonight? Oh, pastor. The man you danced with when you got your miracle. <laughs> I would love to dance for pastor. I want those bees to dance for pastor now. Wow. Because now I can dance without no fear. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Oh, pastor, I love you so much. Oh, wow. Indeed, you are a true man of God. Wow. There is anointing in you. Amen. Heavenly Father is using you mightily. Amen. Continue blessing others. I don't know what to say, but I can say I love you. Wow. I don't have dollars to give you. But I promise with all my heart that I'll give my life to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Wow. You imparted wisdom to everyone that is here today. Yes, Pastor. And I know that through your testimony, faith has come to someone. And I know you can continue rejoicing with this great miracle. Yes, thank Pastor. you so much. Shall we thank... God and thank Sister Ampo for this great testimony. Praise the Lord.